Groceries, Diane. Uh, How about coming in for a cup of coffee? Oh, no thanks, Louise. I better not. Why not? You sprang for the Cokes in the laundry room yesterday. Yeah, but... And I always say there are two things that are no fun at all unless you've got company. And the other one is drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, why not? Hey, did you hear about Mr. Schneider getting mugged in the park last night? No, but what was he doing in the park at night anyway? was exercising his police dog. Oh, <laughs> oh that's me. Oh, 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 oh. I'll get the, you get the phone. Oh, thanks, Diane. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Mrs. Isaac Nugent, I presume? No, I'm Miss Diane Stockwell. Oh, how do you do? Actually, I shouldn't have made that joke because gravity is no laughing matter, is it? <laughs> No, I can see it isn't. <laughs> Let me help you, huh? Thank you. I don't believe we've met. I'm Harry Bentley. Do you live in the building? <laughs> no, but thanks for the compliment. I'm a maid. Huh. I work for some of the families in the building. Just going in for a cup of coffee with my friend. Oh, that's nice. Oh, then you know the Jeffersons, huh? No, just their maid, Louise. Maid? Oh, I think you mean... <laughs> the groceries here in the kitchen, Diane. Hey, this is a real nice apartment. Sure is done in good taste. Oh, thank you. It is all right. I mean, my coming in like this, your boss ain't likely to come back unexpected. <laughs> boss? The day I call George boss is the day they'll invite Lester Maddox to a Harlem block party. <laughs> <laughs> Calling George to his face? Not always. Sometimes I call him loudmouth. He let you talk to him like that? Sure. What would you do if your husband gets up in your face? Husband? I thought you was talking about your employer. Huh? Thanks. Oh, it sure is nice having somebody like you to talk to, Louise. Some of the maids around here are so snooty, you'd think they own the apartments themselves. Really? You better believe it, honey, but I ain't got time for them stuck-up folks with their nose so high in the air they can't even smell their own mouthwash. <laughs> we... Who's that? Uh, one of the higher noses in these parts. <laughs> we... Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, George, this is Diane Stockwell. Diane, this is my husband, George. If you're the Avon lady, I think it's too late. He's a great joker. Sometimes he's even funny. <laughs> Do both y'all live here? Uh-huh, someplace, ain't it? Yeah. I didn't know the Jeffersons had a couple. A couple of what? <laughs> a maid and a butler, you two. Butler what? Yeah, they must be real rich. <laughs> Hold it, Diane. We are the Jeffersons. <laughs> He's not joking, Diane. Oh, you got to be kidding. How can you afford to live in a place like this? You ain't tall enough to be no basketball player. <laughs> Say what? 
And you too old for a rock and roll singer. Look, this is our apartment. Then you got to be a number runner. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. No, hold on. I don't run nothing except my own business. That's true, Diane. He owns some cleaning stores, including the one downstairs. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, Diane, wait. Wait, Diane, what's the matter? Well, I thought you was a maid like me. You a maid? Yes, what difference does that make? Plenty. Why ain't you out maiden someplace? <laughs> Don't mind him, Diane. No, it does make a difference. Mr. Jefferson is right. Mr. Jefferson? It's George, Diane. She was right the first time, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> I better be going. Thanks for the coffee. Uh, uh, wait, promise you'll drop in tomorrow and have another cup of coffee with me? I want us to be good friends. Well, I will if I can. Bye, Mr. Jefferson. Bye. You hear that, Louise? She called me Mr. Jefferson. Mrs. Louise. <laughs> Two can play at that superior jazz. Diane is my friend. No, she's not. She's a domestic. <laughs> you make it sound like a disease. <laughs> Fact of life, Louise. You own an apartment in the building. She's a maid. Now hold it right there, Buster. Ain't you forgetting where you came from? It ain't the question of where I came from. It's the question of where I am. <laughs> you are east side and she is west side. I don't want no cross-town traffic in my kitchen. <laughs> George, the Lord created everybody equal. Except in your case, he quit work before he got to your head. <laughs> now, just because we are moving up is no reason why we have to look down on people. I'm not telling you to look down on nobody. I'm just saying to shift your angle and let them start looking up to you. <laughs> look, Louis, I've done good by you, right? And I hope someday Diane's husband will do good by her. But in the meantime, she is where a domestic belongs, in the kitchen. And you are going to be where you belong in the doghouse. <laughs> I wear the pants in this family. And when you zip them up, include your mouth. <laughs> better pray this is the U.S. Cavalry. <laughs> Hello. I think uh, this is one of yours. Oh. Yes, it was uh, hiding in the corner, licking its wounds, the poor little chap. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's got a nasty bruise, you see? Now, I shouldn't put that in with the others, if I were you. You know what they say about one rotten apple. Oh, I know. It spoils the whole barrel. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Jefferson, what luck that you're here. You wouldn't uh, have time to take a little walk on the old back, would you? <laughs> What's with you in this back walking? Oh, it's been acting up again. Uh, just, uh, just a couple of steps. Uh, there's something about the way you do it. It's uh, amazing, really. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's lovely, yes. Oh, you have wonderful rhythm in your feet. <laughs> George! He doesn't know what he's saying. Well, you've done it again, thank you. Say, Bentley, since you're here, maybe you can settle a little discussion we've been having. In England, do you people make friends with your maids? Surely, yes. My best friend was my nanny. Oh. Wonderful woman, nanny. Used to tell me fairy tales by the hour while I sat in her lap and pulled the hairs out of her chin. <laughs> well, thanks again. Ah, absolutely splendid, yeah. I'm a new man. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a weird dude there. <laughs> okay, George. Uh, now, oh, look, I know you think I'm wrong for what I'm doing, but all I'm trying to do is make things nice for you. So now get your coat, I'm taking you out to lunch. I don't have time, I've got the windows to clean. You don't have to do that. Oh no? Well, I can hear your mother now. Such a lovely view, George. What a pity the dirty windows stop you from seeing. <laughs> Just hire a maid to come in one day a week. We can afford it. I don't need a maid. Look, you want to see your friend Diane, right? Of course I do. Well, she's a maid. Hire her. I can't hire her. Diane is a friend of mine. George, remember when Lionel was growing up? 
and I did domestic work twice a week to mm. sort of help out. Yes. Remember the folks I worked for? Uh -huh. It was all yes ma'am, no ma'am. Now, how can I ask Diane to say yes ma'am to me? Because now you're the ma'am. That's the way life goes, Wheezy. Look, some people gotta be the ma'ams and the rest are the mammies. <laughs> I am not going to ask my friend to work for me. And for the last time, George, I do not want a maid. Yes, you do. I do not. I'm ordering you to hire a maid. You're not ordering I'm me to order nothing. I'm telling you this. I'm going to get the I maid. Hey, 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 Sounds like a good idea to me, Mom. I mean, you could use a little help around here. I mean, Jenny's parents, they have an apartment just like this. They have a maid. The only one? Well, I figured the Wilsons would have three maids. Three? Well, I figured a black one for Mr. Day, a white one for Mrs. Knight, and a plaid one for Jenny. <laughs> 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 you know, I ain't got no time to be arguing. I got business to take care of. Now, you're going to get a maid, and that's it. There's only one way we'll have a maid, and that's over my dead body. Good, then she can clean up the mess. <laughs> And then when Lionel told George, you had a maid, I didn't stand a chance. Relax, Louise. Having a maid isn't the worst thing in the world. But I told George I didn't want a maid. He's not going to push me around. Then get a divorce. <laughs> sure, it'll be easy. All you have to do is stand up and say, Your Honor, I want a divorce on the grounds that my husband is forcing me to have a maid. <laughs> and after they release you from Bellevue... <laughs> Tom, but it is funny. <laughs> what am I going to do? George called an employment agency, and tomorrow I'm going to be conducting interviews. You know what's really bothering you, Louise? You feel guilty about spending the money. Well, I can't help it. It's the way I was brought up. A penny saved is a penny earned. A penny? <laughs> you know who made those sayings up, don't you? Rich people, to keep poor people happy about being poor. Heck, I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. <laughs> and the moon belongs to everyone. The best things in life are free. <laughs> like food, rent, clothing. Uh... <laughs> That's right, and I got no checkbooks, got no banks. Still, I'd like to express my thanks. I got, I got the, the sun, sun in, in the morning, morning and, and the moon, moon at night. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever try living on sunshine? They'd yeah. toss you in jail if you tried living on moonshine. <laughs> okay, okay, so I've been brainwashed. But how can I change after all these years? Uh, Tom, didn't you say you wanted a Coke? Did I? Oh, yes, of course I did. <laughs> Sit down, Louise. I'd like to share something with you. Something I had to learn myself. Honey, did you know that it is possible to have a lot of money and still enjoy life? <laughs> well, honey, I had a lifetime of being poor. Take shopping. All of my life, I've only bought three kinds of dresses. 50% off, seconds, and going out of business. <laughs> You'll get used to it, Louise. All you've got to do is learn three little words. I'll take it. <laughs> But first, I have to forget the four big words. How much is it? <laughs> I always thought that money could solve all our problems. But I've had more fights with George in the last week than I've had in the past 20 years. I'm beginning to think the Bible was right. Money is the root of all evil. Oh, money was new in biblical days. They didn't know much about it. I go with George Bernard Shaw. The lack of money is the root of all evil. <laughs> My George. Well, my George says the same thing, only he puts it differently. He says, being broke stinks. <laughs> Hi there, George. Hi. What are you two doing here? Basking in the warmth of your welcome. <laughs> well, if you two baskers will excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to mix myself a drink. 
Oh, George. It's all right, Louise. We're leaving. Oh, I hope it's not on my account. I can't think of a better reason. <laughs> Tom, wait. George, I invited them here. They are our guests, so you be nice. Okay. Good night and have a nice evening. <laughs> you hear that? And this is the man that you said was right. Who said I was right? We did. We agree with you that Louise should have some help around the house. Oh, you took my side, huh? Yes, heaven help us. Good night. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. You're right. You just got here. What's it on? Sit on there, relax. Oh, well. <laughs> See how easy it is to get along with him, Helen. Just agree with everything he says. Well, I'm glad you two finally straightened Louise out. Nobody straightened me out. I don't want a maid, and I still get goose pimples thinking about those interviews. Hey, why don't you share our maid? She only works for us twice a week. Twice a week? We don't want no used maid. <laughs> we don't get our own maid full time five days a week. Five days a week? Are you crazy? This morning you said once a week. Things have gotten a lot dirtier since then. <laughs> and you are more of a show-off. Just because Helen says she has a maid twice a week. Twice a week is a cleaning woman. We're gonna have a real maid with a uniform. One that fits my position. Remember, I work my way from the bottom up to the top. So does a gopher. <laughs> Oh, God, Tom, it feels so good to disagree with him again. Let me tell you something else about this apartment. It's got a full-time door. Use it. Bye. George, will you get out of here? I'm tired. Just get out of here. I hate to interrupt your fight when you're really rolling. <laughs> but we can't hear the music in there. Who? We who? who? Well, Jenny and me. You and Jenny? You mean she's got you locked in that bedroom with her alone? <laughs> no, we ain't alone. We got Gladys Knight, Stevie Wonder, Rolling Stones. Don't <laughs> give me that. Look, the music might have been playing, but I know you wasn't listening. Jenny, come out here now. Why? Oh, Pop knows we're messing around. <laughs> oh, well, okay. As soon as I can get into my clothes. <laughs> you come out here right now, young lady. All right. Anything you say. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourselves, both of you. And right in your mother's house, too. Well, there's only one honorable thing to do, Dad. Force me to marry her. <laughs> well, you're her mother. Aren't you going to say anything to her? I don't think that color blanket suits you, Jenny. <laughs> okay, I'll take it off. No, don't! No. <laughs> Are you satisfied, Pop? Come on. I'm not going anywhere. What you mean you ain't going nowhere? I mean, you can't tell Boy, me. You better get in there. No, wait, 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 you... Tell me. Now, now, you heard that? See, that's how y'all look. <laughs> that was a great imitation of you, George. Fine, well, son, he is. He could have stopped me before I made a damn fool out of myself. <laughs> well, he didn't know you when you were first born. <laughs> George, why do we have to fight so much? If we have a problem, why can't we just talk it through? Like Tom and Helen, they don't fight. They don't fight because they're scared to fight. What's that supposed to mean? You know damn well what it means. If you two ever really started going at one another, inside of five minutes, he'd be calling you... Don't say it. Nigga. He said it. <laughs> You listen to me. We've had lots of fights, and it's never happened. Oh, and don't tell me it never crossed your mind. No more than it ever crossed my mind to say the word hunky to talk. Ha! Well, how come you said it just then? Come on, let's go. That's the best idea you've had all day. <laughs> Tom, I'm worried. About what? Just now, in there. Why did that word hunky ever cross my mind? Why shouldn't I? Don't you think words like that cross my mind, too? Yeah, but even when we've had our worst fights, you've never called me nigger. That doesn't mean it never crossed my mind. <laughs> Helen, remember you told me uh, you used to have a lot of terrible fights with your sister? Yeah. We could have filled Madison Square Garden. <laughs> well, didn't you have any crazy thoughts then? Sure. I can even remember wishing her dead. <laughs> can you realize that? And I really loved her. Oh, I felt so guilty. Yes, you see, honey, we can't stop crazy thoughts from popping into our heads. Nobody can. What matters is not what 
passes across our minds. It's how we live our lives together. Baby, we've been doing that pretty good. Damn good. <laughs> Beg your pardon, I'll uh, come back later. <laughs> she hasn't even been hired yet, and already she's late. That settles it, George. I don't need a maid, and that's that. She ain't late. Stop making excuses. She is late. She was supposed to be here at 10 o'clock for her interview. Well, it's only five minutes to 10. Well, she's almost late. I'm not having a maid, and that's that. Look, give the woman a chance. Good morning, Louise. Oh, hello, Mother Jefferson. <laughs> Come in. Oh, Mama. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing by. On the 12th floor? <laughs> I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Oh, no, 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 Mom. Uh, <clears throat> Louise is just waiting to interview the new maid. A maid? You're getting a maid to look after this itty-bitty apartment? <laughs> yes. Well, well. All the years I was married, bringing up a family in that great big house, we never had a maid. What great big house? We had a three-room walk-up. <laughs> he doesn't remember. <laughs> no, you mean you don't remember. Don't talk to your mother like that. Now, don't you pick on George. <laughs> he has enough on his mind trying to think up ways to earn enough money to pay for your maid, which you don't need. Oh, you see there, George? Even your mother agrees with me. Well, uh, on the other hand... <laughs> understand you wanting somebody to keep the place neat and clean. <laughs> For a change. Mother Jefferson, why don't you go? Go in the kitchen and get yourself a cup of coffee. <laughs> Mrs. Jefferson, I'm Florence Johnson, the agency said. Oh, yes, come in. Uh, this is my husband. How you do? Ten o'clock on the dot, Louise. Oh, I believe in being prompt, Mr. Jefferson. I always say I ain't got no right to waste time when other people is paying for it. I hear you. She's got the job. <laughs> <laughs> now, just a minute, George. I'm doing the interviewing. This show is a lovely apartment, Miss Jefferson. Thank you. And is that your kitchen? Yes. Oh, look at that kitchen. And I see you got a cook, too. <laughs> Real pleasure looking after a place like this. But it's a very large apartment. We have four bathrooms. Oh, that's good. I love large apartments. Small ones are so boring. But look at all those windows. They must be clean every two weeks. Every two weeks? Well, there you are, George. You see, she doesn't do windows. <laughs> Not no every two weeks. I'd clean your windows every week. <laughs> you would? But there's just one thing. I hope you don't have any small children, do you? Oh, yes, we do. Uh, little Lionel. Sorry. <laughs> little Lionel. Lionel is 22 years old. Now, will you stop fooling around and tell Miss Johnson she's hired? I am? Well, sir, thank you. I'll get the door for you. See, she does doors, too. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Lawrence, what you doing here? I'm the Jefferson's new maid. What? Hi, Diane. What you mean, hi, Diane? How come you're hiring her? What? She said, how come you're hiring me, Miss Jefferson? I know what she said. I want to know what does she mean? I mean, have I got leprosy or something? How come you didn't offer me the job? But, Diane, you're my friend. I can't ask you to work for me. Well, I'm sure glad everybody ain't as friendly as you are. My children would starve to death. <laughs> oh, oh, please. oh, Diane, you're here. I knew you'd like her. Isn't she wonderful? Diane is your maid? Yeah. Lucky we wasn't good friends. <laughs> oh, Diane, I'm sorry. Well, it's too late now. Oh, now, no, it ain't. It ain't no problem. No problem at all. 
Why don't you work it out with Miss Jefferson? I can always get something else from the agency. Oh, oh thank you, <laughs> But there's just one thing. Do you folks mind if I ask you something? No, go right ahead. You live in this apartment, right? Uh-huh. And you got an apartment in this building, too? Yes, that's right. Well, how come we overcame and nobody told me? <laughs> The Jeffersons was recorded on tape in front of a studio audience. 